Hey guys, Sam from Alpha's Mates and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. So today it is Thursday and here at Mountford's Makes on a Thursday is... Tile of the Week! Thursday. And if you don't know what Tile of the Week is... I got this book in Happy Mail over a year ago. 100 Crochet Tiles by Sarah Callard. You can get it on Amazon because it was bought from my Amazon wish list, but you can get it other places as well. And I would recommend that you get your book spiral bound or that you get the ebook version as this book falls apart. It is not a very well made book. Anyway. When I opened that happy mail over a year ago, I pledged that I would make one tile every week until they were done, not realising that it was going to take the best part of two years. And we have had a couple of mini breaks in that time as well. I do believe we are on tile 55 this week. And don't we have a story to tell? So this week we were making Country Posy. The designer was Katie Moore. But, but, but... This is the last ever Katie Moore. So all the other people that are joining in, if you haven't gone ahead in the book like I have, congratulations, you have done all your Katie Moore tiles. Because if you're brand new, you're not going to know. There are two particular designers that we have experienced time after time in this book that most of the people doing this, we do not like. We don't know them personally. They're probably lovely people, but... They need to get their patterns tested or read through before they are published because they are not written beginner friendly. You get the written instructions and you get the charts or diagrams. They don't always correlate with each other either. There is Hattie Risdale and then there's uh, Katie Moore <laughs> for Mike. <laughs> but Katie Moore is on a par. But guys, bad news. I have looked ahead. There's three more Hatties to come much later in the book. So we haven't got rid of Hattie yet. But we have got rid of Katie Moore. So there, there is go. a bit of a confession on this one as well. Yeah, but let me show them what we're supposed to have done and do all the normal bits before we tell our tale of woes. Um, we did the country posy. There you go, Katie Moore. that's what it's supposed to look like in my opinion hideous mine is even more hideous because mine is full of a lot of mistakes <laughs> but we'll get into that actually i better tell my story first um <laughs> i made a lot of boo-boos in this one I think I am heading into a B12 slump again, guys. And again, if you haven't been here, I have been battling a B12 deficiency over the last few months. My next injection is due at the beginning of September. And seeing as we're at the latter part of August, I think my body needs a boost. But the doctors won't let me have that boost yet. So we did the first 10 rows the first night. Hmm. Um, and then we did um the last four rounds the second night so it was a tile of two parts this time it, it is when there's more than what five rounds um when i picked up the tile for the last four rounds i don't know what happened guys i was trying to put my stitches with the tile the wrong way round, and i was getting frustrated and i couldn't see my stitches and i'm like what is the matter with me so I'm trying and I'm trying, I frog and I try and I frog and I try and I look down at my lap, realisation dawns on me, I literally sit there going, ah. Mike's like, what's the matter? And I pointed down to my tile and I said, what's wrong with that picture? And he went, oh dear. <laughs> so I turned the tile over and I tried to do the stitches on the right side, it worked a little bit better. Did I enjoy this one? No. Was there a lot of unnecessary stitches? Yes. Was there a lot of what I call poncifying for no damn good reason? Yes. And I'm sorry if you found any of that language offensive, but that is as filtered as I can be because never will I ever make this tile again. Um, Probably for two she, reasons. She left on a bang 
this lady. She really did. Nothing was overly complex. There were a couple of modified popcorns, but they were simple enough for me to understand and figure out what we were supposed to do. But there were picos when there didn't need to be picos, quite frankly. There were stitches where there didn't need to be stitches, quite frankly. It was a lot of work for a super ugly tile, in my opinion. And I think that literally rounds it up in a nutshell. There was another little hiccup along the way, which Mike will fill you in on in just a minute, which really didn't help my mood with this tile either. But tile 55, no, never again. And you haven't even seen what's coming next week. You'll get to see that in a minute. And I'm already having an anxiety attack about it. So Me too. It was um it was a very fraught tile making this week. Very stressful. But we did both complete it. Are you gonna tell your story before we show or are we gonna show? So I can show my mistakes. Show yours if you want. Right. Here's mine. This one here is correct because I kept the loop of the popcorns to the back. That one, that one, and that one is wrong because they are not tied in at all. Look, see? Attached to nothing. Whereas this one is fully attached. You can't move that one. So I messed up, guys. I totally messed up. And these modified popcorns, I don't like doing popcorns as it is. The modified ones, shoving a pico on the top of it, doesn't make it any more enjoyable for Mountford to make or any more pretty in my opinion. I don't like them. So you can keep your modified popcorns as well. No thank you. But there you go. There are the colours I chose. And I think mine are prettier colours than what she chose. But it doesn't really give you the country posy aesthetic I think she was planning on. Mike's is a little bit more country posy themed in, in my opinion. Mine looks Aztec or something. But yeah, these silly, silly, unnecessary bits. So as you can tell, Mountford didn't enjoy this one. Over to you, Mike. Confession time. I had an absolute meltdown with this tile. She nearly made me quit. The first night he had officially quit. Yes, I did say that. 10 rounds, flung it at me, I'm done, I quit, I'm not doing it anymore. Walked away. Yep. Second night, came home from work with a bunch of flowers, apologised for having a meltdown and being mean about it, and decided to carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Very nearly didn't though, yeah. on the second night, I was so close to saying, nah. It's not worth it. She... Not me. Really, no, the designer... Katie has really oh. filter. Bleep 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 bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do sound effects. I don't do editing. We've got to be so careful to keep our language clean. But in this sense, it's she hard. Demoralised me in one tile. And made you mean with it. Yes. Which I'm is why. I, which, about the no. Meanness, which but... is why I got flowers because there was no need for him to be mean to me. No, well, I know how to say sorry. Yes. Do you want to see them? But... They're right here. Do you want to see them? There we go. Apology flowers. <laughs> it's all your fault, Katie Moore. <laughs> but I got pretty flowers, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I hated this tile with a passion. Yeah. And I don't think it was actually the working of the tile. I genuinely believe it was just I did not want to do it. And Katie oh, frustrates Mantford and me with her pattern making. And my mindset when I went into it was just... Not great. Not great. And... Oh, to be fair, I've made mistakes as well. I've got loose ends here. Mm. Is it fair to say 
Because I basically looked at Mike before we started the second night's work because officially he had quit the night before. I looked at him and I said, you have got a real decision to make. It's not a pick it up and put it down. It's a you're in it or you're out. Mm -hmm. Because this segment is the most popular segment on this channel and he is aware of that. And I said, if you're out, that's fine, but you still need to come on camera and you need to explain to people why you're out. If you're in, you need to grin and bear it and finish this tile and come on camera and tell him that you had a bit of a mantrum. Yes. I had a mantrum. So he was going to be on camera tonight either way, but I also did remind him that nobody's got a gun to his head. Nobody's making him do it. It is entirely his choice. I am not forcing him to do it, guys. I couldn't if I wanted to. The man has his own mind. Trust me. That's why he had his mantrum and quit and then had to buy me flowers. He knows his own mind, people. Um, but he also knows that some of the popularity of Tile of the Week is the fact that he is involved. And he has made it into one of the bigger segments with the comedic singing and the fact that he is taking on stitches he may never have done, techniques he may never have done. We both struggle, but we struggle together. It is a it is a big part of our weekly routine now. It has mm -hmm. to be until the book is done. And I did say to him, you've got to make a decision and you've got to stick by it. You can't change your mind in a couple of weeks' time and jump back on. That's That's not how it goes. You're in or you're out. For us, anyone else joining in, dip in and out as much as you like, because we never asked anyone to join in with us anyway. It was never meant to be a crochet along. Other people took that upon themselves to join in. We never asked anyone to, because quite frankly, you're crazy if you do. But in a loving, I love you all, you crazies, for doing this. But for Mike and I, it's different, because this is our channel. Well, mine, but Mike's too, because he now does two regular videos a week, and he's on my live with me. So it doesn't look very good, very good on our channel if he's dipping in and out and being a bit fair weather. Plus, Mike's not known for being fair weather. Mike is either all in or all out. There's no normally no in between with Mike. So I said, you have to put that into this decision. Um, and if I'm being honest, it's probably because you guys love seeing him so much and this segment is so big that kind of persuaded him to stay. But um, if it gets to the point where it's too much for him again, then I've said he can quit. But if he says the words again, that's it. Quit means quit. You're out. You can't say it willy nilly and then pick it back up as if nothing happened. Because quite honestly, neither of us can deal with that stress every week. It's not good for us. Um, I said either that or you're crappy attitude sometimes i will fire him i've told him i will fire him <laughs> so <laughs> moving forward mike is going to try his best to get back on board now that katie's gone and i do you know what i said what? i don't get paid <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get paid therefore he can't be fired <laughs> but in a relationship we don't pay each other to be with each other but no, we can break up I'm so not, not we're, we're not breaking up don't panic oh my god i shouldn't have said that that was a bit dramatic when, when you anyway. say fired it generally means a job but this is a job it's a job that we don't get paid a lot for by youtube and you don't get paid a bean because it goes into my bank account exactly. and then when it goes into my bank account i spend it for stuff for the channel anyway exactly but all joking aside, guys, it really isn't worth it, but it did get us to breaking point this week. It, it broke me. And because he was having such a meltdown over it and and was mean, I I said enough is enough. I'm not going to let tiles damage our relationship and I'm not going to let tiles rule my channel because it's just one video a week. I do daily content, so... We had to kind of reassess the situation and Mike is going to continue. However, next week we're moving on to Mosaic and Mike has never done Mosaic. So... The first tile might be okay. It might because be. Because it's new. Might be. And I might be intrigued and want mm. to carry on. But anyway, show him the tile that oh, nearly yeah. broke you before we talk about the Mosaic. 
There we go, guys. And it doesn't look that bad, but it ruined me. <laughs> and we have always said, on this channel, we are 100% honest and we keep it real. I am not going to come on camera and tell you I loved making a tile if I didn't, because that is fake, that is false, and that is not fair. Because you might go, well, Mantha loved it, I'm going to love it, I'm going to make it too. And then you're going to be like, I'm hating every stitch. She lied to me. We ain't ever going to lie to you guys. We are not going to dress it up as something it's not. And that is why I said to him, you are going on camera regardless and letting him know either way. Because we pride ourselves on our honesty here. So I do not recommend the country posy. So, and I don't think Mike recommends nope. it either. I have my meltdown and quit on this blue line. Yes. The thin blue line. Yes. And I don't... It, yeah, I can't even explain it because it would be rude. This was just very unnecessary this week. Mike and I are good people. <laughs> We didn't need none of this unnecessariness this week. But anywho, we, we survived. And Mike yes. Mike um, handed in his notice, but then retracted that. So for a minute, he is still on board. But it remains to be seen. Anyway, do you want to see what 56 is? It's called Annie. And the designer is Rosina Plain. And it is mosaic, guys. And what a mosaic to kick off with. I've done mosaic, but I've only ever done mosaic with two colours. This lady wants four. So already my brain's going... Ah! It's my first ever mosaic. That is what we're going to be attempting next week, guys. I don't think I'm even going to be able to do it, you know. Don't never say never until you've given it a go. Okay, but it's singles and doubles. It looks like you have to have perfect form. No, it's singles and doubles because the doubles go down to the row below, which you've already left a stitch open for. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and it is twenty rounds. Yeah, there's there's a lot of helpful hints on this as well it's it's um bamboozling my brain because i've done a little bit of mosaic but not tons and tons so yes i have a little bit of experience but am i proficient no we will be after this book we will because this is the first mosaic of many to come in this little section of the book so like I said, it's called Annie. The designer is Rosina Plain. She is a very, very, very well-known designer in the mosaic world. Type in her name and you will find a plethora of patterns of hers. She wants four colours. She recommends DK or lightweight three and a 3.5 millimetre hook. Um... Special abbreviation, FLMDC, double crochet worked in front loop, two rounds below. So we're going to have to keep our eye open for that as well. Um, and it's overlay mosaic. And I don't know whether I've done overlay or inset because there's two different types. And I do the type that Tina does, you know, Tina Thoradotta, Thoravalda, something like that. Sorry, Tina butchered your name always do but everyone knows tinner well a lot of people who crochet know tinner i do tinner style is overlay tinner style or is tinner style inset let me know down in the comments because some of you guys may be a little bit more proficient at mosaic than i am but i'm going to give it a blooming good go and hopefully mike will give it a blooming good go and he will go in it with the mindset of, I'm going to learn a new technique. And you never know. You may absolutely adore Mosaic after doing these. Maybe. Because you didn't think you'd like making a shawl. And look at your shawl mission that's evolved. Yeah. So, never say never. Open mind. Positivity. You guys need to wish us a lot of luck and love. We need all the love and luck <laughs> we can muster after this week. So there we go. That is this week's episode of Tile of the Week.
Thursday! And Rolo's contribution as well. I don't know if you heard that, but he tried to join in with Mike too. Um, yeah, so there we go. But we shall come back next Thursday and let you know how the mosaic went. There are other people joining in along with this. Like I said earlier, I am not listing names because I inevitably forget someone and it always upsets me when I do that. So click in the search bar at the top of YouTube and type in hashtag tile of the week Thursday. And anybody who has used that hashtag on a community tab post or a video will pop up. There will be hours upon hours of viewing pleasure, guys, because this has been going for over a year now and we still have the majority of a year to go. So do check out my friends, do check out who else is joining in and please do go over and check out my community tab because the wonderful Josephine yet again has submitted the tile that she made this week. She also did not enjoy this one very much at all and was glad to see the back of it. So um, yeah, go show Josephine some love because this was a hard one, guys, for many different reasons. I think Tile 55 is going to go down in history, just saying. Just saying. I think it's going to be the most talked about tile throughout this whole thing. Because hopefully we're just going to go back on the plane sailing downhill towards the finish line now. Okay? That's the plan. Even the tiles that I couldn't complete did not make me do this. No. Um. Anyway... It will be crochet catch-up time tomorrow, although it will just be me, guys, because unfortunately Mike has not had a lot of time to work on his hug this week. Um, there has been um, exciting times with telescopes and Max loving looking at the night sky, and that is another passion of Mike's. He does love science, so him and Max have been bonding with the telescope and spending some time together doing that, and I am never going to begrudge quality family time even if it does overtake quality crafting time. No, I'm only joking. Um, we need to make the most of the kids while they're off from school because when they go back to school, it's going to be the usual chaos. So no mic on crochet catch up tomorrow, but I will come on camera and I will let you know what I have managed to get done this week. We will be going live as best as we know so far on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern straight after Granny D. So it would be amazing if you could come say hi over there. And as usual, there is daily content here at Mount Make, so please do keep clicking on and seeing what we are all doing and what we're all about. But until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones. Try not to have a meltdown. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. All around you, two sweets. Bye, guys. See you later. Love you. Bye.